The Hebron Train Depot in Hebron, Maryland was a well-established train station that was a part of the Baltimore and Eastern owned railroad system, which was opened and operated in the late 1800s. The town of Hebron was also established when the B&E Railroad laid tracks through the town, which caused a major economic boom for the small town. Hebron is located one mile east of U.S. Route 50 and northwest of Salisbury and Wicomico County. General Joseph B. Seth was one of the financers of the railroad and named the town thereafter. The Hebron Train Passenger Station was built around 1910 by the Baltimore, Chesapeake and Atlantic Railroad Company. The line went from McDaniel on the Chesapeake Bay to St. Michael's, Royal, Easton, Tanyard, Bethlehem, Preston, Elwood, Herlock, Rodesdale, Reeds Grove, Vienna, Mardella Springs, Hebron, Salisbury, Walston's, Parsonsburg, Pittsville, Willards, Whaleyville, St. Martin, Berlin, Derrickson's, Cinepuxent, West Ocean City, and into Ocean City by the way of a bridge. Within an immediate source of transportation, along with successful agriculture, canning houses also became successful with the George A. Bounds and Company in 1895. Along with canning, the manufacturing of berry crates, box shooks, and other building products aided in the manufacturing and agricultural boom. The manufacturing of shirts became a vital industry to the town of Hebron and employed many people near the area. The town became so successful it was featured in the Salisbury Advertiser in Wicomico County on April 26, 1924. The article states the town of Hebron, through without corporate law, is one of the most progressive towns on the line of the BCNA Railway Company. Its progress has been very rapid and almost entirely the product of local talent and local money. The chief industry of the town is the large manufacturing plant of GA Bounds and Company. It was this industry more than any other that started the town on its era of prosperity. In line of industry, the shirt factories have contributed very much to the growth and prosperity of the town and greatly increased earning capacity of families large and small. There are at present five shirt factories and all supplied with operators averaging 30 or more to the factory. During the year 1923, there were seven new residences built in the town that are ornaments to the town and a credit to the owners. One new shirt factory was also built last year and many improvements made this year will likely equal, if not exceed, last year in point of improvements. With progress of the year, there were two heavy losses by fire, one a shirt factory and the other a potato house and its contents. The town is expanding in two directions, one towards Spring Hill Church and one towards Salisbury, and all this territory will be a few years in full observation of the town. From the appearance of premises of both town and community, much attention is now given to poultry raising, which has proven a very profitable industry. The line was abandoned in sections through the mid-20th century, but you can still see the railroad lines as you travel along US 50 from McDaniel to Ocean City. Under the care of Ozzie Wilkinson, efforts remain strong to preserve the history of the Hebron train depot, along with future efforts to preserve the railroads that are still in place around Hebron and along US 50. The Hebron train depot became incorporated with a 501c3 status in 2012 and remains a not-for-profit organization to date. On March 5th, a meeting was called to order to find out additional information on the train depot and local stories about the historic town of Hebron. Due to its 501c3 status, donations are always welcome and tax deductible. You can mail donations to P.O. Box 301, Hebron, Maryland, 21830. There is also a strong need for volunteers. If you would like to become involved, please visit hebronmdtraindepot.weebly.com. Thank you.